as we look at this field. And I tell you, there's nothing worse than not going to the starting line when you're ready. You know, these guys do their warm up, then they have to go to a, what's called the call room where they sit on a chair for up to a half hour. They get to come out on the track, and now they've been standing around out here. And did, could you do some rip, uh, lip reading of Zach Seddon of Great Britain? He said, ah, yes, finally, as the men's 3,000 steeplechase final begins. Kipruto to the front. And you said it best, This the Kenyan team wants to run as a team. That chatter that was going on during the race was all about that. It was Kipruto saying to his countryman, Benjamin Keegan, hey, let's get through this. Let's not expend too much energy. Keep an eye on the big screen. We're going to qualify. We're going to dominate in the final. And by the way, a lot of interest in this race because of the number of African guest workers that work here in Doha. 2.43 for the second kilometer. So I misspoke earlier. It wasn't nine-minute pace, eight-minute pace, or just over it. Now they've stepped off the gas a little bit with about two laps to go as the Ethiopians were sharing the leading duties. And Kipruto says, I've had enough of this. I'm going to take the lead. And he's looking around. He's see, trying to see where his teammates are, the other Kenyans. And he's been elbowing and shoving. And there's been some pushing with the Ethiopians. Now El Bakali comes up into third alongside Kipruto as Wale goes back into the lead. Yeah, the Kenyans and the Ethiopians have to be careful. If they focus too much on one another, El Bakali who's not involved with any of that emotion, is a great technician over the last lap. He could run by all of them. And look at Hillary Bohr back in the chase. Bohr has stuck with this top five or six all race long. Badrani is there, Bent is there, and they're coming to the bell lap. Watch the fireworks on this final lap. And I like what Kipruto says about this. He says, from lap four onwards, each barrier seems higher than the previous one. They seem like they're 10 feet tall over the last lap. Imagine trying to sprint and clear the 36-inch barriers and a fallout sprint. Here we go. Kipruto is the defending world champion, the reigning Olympic champion. He sits third. He trains in a grass field in Kenya with a dirt track. And here he is in front of the world trying to defend that title. But El Bacali set a pace to chase now on this final lap. And this is smart by El Bacali to try to get out ahead here. Kipruto normally has the blazing finish. But remember, he's missed a lot of training time this year with the broken foot. And here comes Girma. Girma takes the lead. Kipruto, the final journey over the water jump. And now it's going to be a sprint home. Girma of Ethiopia, Kipruto of Kenya. He so desperately wants the title to stay with Kenya, but he's got to sprint home. It's Lameka Girma, but here comes Kipruto. Kipruto to the line. It's close. It's a photo finish. The Ethiopian and the Kenyan. Who gets it? Remember, it's the shoulder that matters. Usually the guy who's coming from behind looks like he's taken it. And I was, was looking straight down at the finish line. And it's just too close to call at this point. What a charge. What a courageous run by Conselsus Kipruto as they're waiting and waiting to see the outcome. I think Kipruto's got it. Kipruto's got it. And it was by one one hundredth of a second. 3,000 meters is decided by one hundredth of a second. And we mentioned the workers here. Remember we saw Idris win the 5,000 meters after a season where he was barely visible. This guy was visible. He dropped out of as many races as he finished this season. Unbelievable that he could come back and not only win this championships, but run an amazing time, 8.01.35 for the win. He was a world youth champion, a world junior champion. He came to his first two world championships and got silver medals 
behind his teammate Ezekiel Kemboy and it took into two, until 2016 for him to get on the podium in the gold medal position. He won the Olympics the World Championships and now he's defended that title. This was a close this was a closer winning margin than the women's 100. And I think Germa and leaned, the men's Germa leaned too early. That was his problem. He was a bit out of control over these closing strides and he staggers to the finish line whereas Kepruto times it right and dips right at the finish line. Look at this deficit that Kepruto had to overcome. And remember there's one hurdle for them to go over. Germa definitely seemed to have this race in hand. He cleared well a little bit high over the hurdle. And he was sprinting well. But the guts shown by Kipruto, I don't know where he found this fitness. And I guarantee you he never practiced that lean. But the determination and national pride came together at that finish line. Defends his world championship. El Bacali of Morocco, by the way, got third and bronze. And Kip Ruto did what he intended for this world championship to stay in the hands of a Kenyan athlete.